As you guys know, on the opening of every XM Studios box, we will get a pit image. Uh, typically, which is the same image that you'll get in on the uh, art print that's included with the statues. And then a little bit of a, of a reading here. So it says, Winter Soldier, one for scale. As a young boy, James Buchanan Barnes lost his father, a soldier during World War II, and was adopted by Camp Lehigh as their mascot and given the nickname Bucky. It was here that he learned the identity of Captain America. He underwent rigorous training and was assigned to be Cap's sidekick, accompanying him on many adventures, and the two often worked with the original invaders. However, on a final mission against Boron Zemo, Bucky and Cap were both dropped in the North Atlantic, where Cap would later be found and thawed out by the Avengers. American forces never found Bucky's body, and he was presumed dead. Unbeknownst to the Americans, we have, he was found and revived by Russian General Vasily Karpov and outfitted with a replacement bionic arm, which had been made after a Soviet spy had recovered schematics for cybernetic appendage. The arm was to be replaced by a newer and more advanced one every time there was an improvement in their technology. While he had no memory of his past, Barnes still had considerable physical skill. He was indoctrinated to hate the West and was provided with mental implements during sensory deprivation, molding him into the perfect assassin. Bucky Barnes. XM Studios and here you guys can see these straps from XM Studios. You guys already know about the straps, man So let's go ahead and undo the straps. You guys hear it. Let's go ahead and undo the strap You guys hear it So the straps generally are like that you can use it to take out the uh, take out the box and right here uh, It's gonna say XM Studios Also have my handy dandy gloves to go ahead and unbox it and just to show you guys as well, so right here, you're going to have an XM Studios handbook. Inside the handbook, it's going to give you pictures of pretty much the layout of the statue as well as the final product. So that's pretty cool there. Um, and then in here, uh, we're going to have the art print. So I'll go ahead and take out the art print so you guys can see that. Uh, let's see here. Here is the art print. Again, the art print is typically gonna be the same as that. So here is the art print of the Winter Soldier. Shout out the Winter Soldier, Bucky Barnes. I mean, it, it looks amazing, amazing, amazing art. Amazing art. Let's get it, amazing art. Mm, mm, mm. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the inside of the box. Let's go. All right, and here's the inside of the box before I take the plastic off. Same as what I got, what I showed you guys in the handbook. So next time, you'll see everything unboxed. Un, un plastic. Let's get it. You guys, an overhead look of all the pieces that came out of the box. Um, you saw them first wrapped into the plastic and styrofoam, but this is everything that you come assembled. Obviously, the uh, XM Studios art print, and then the base, uh, the statue itself. The portrait along with two left arms and two right arms and then uh, two, uh, like a pipe turn thing that goes on the base as well as uh, this right here um, just a quick close-up at the portrait real quick Bucky Barnes there you go so we'll go ahead and get this put together and yeah YouTube Zodiacs, what's good as your favorite Gemini cast? Gemini, and I am back with another unboxing. This time I do have XM Studios Winter Soldier. Shout out Bucky Barnes and Captain Steve Rogers. Go ahead and show you guys the art print yet again. Uh, XM Studios art print of uh, the Winter Soldier uh, Marvel comic version. This is one of the villains I have been actually searching for for a while. Um, Shout out a good friend of mine uh, who was able to uh, hook me up with this. Uh, very appreciative and thankful. There's a couple statues that I'm looking for as far as the, the, the villains. You know, we have Winter Soldier, which I was able to obtain. Taskmaster, which I do have. Uh, Red Skull and Ultron are next. So I'll probably get Red Skull next. I've already showed you guys the box, everything. So let's go ahead and dive in. Put this bad boy together. Let's get it. 
So right here we do have uh, the base, and I'll go ahead and get close-ups of everything. So the base is pretty cool, actually. Um, I didn't think I was gonna like it as much from the pictures on the base, but the base itself is very, very cool. Um, I like what, what we're working with here. Um, and then obviously you have uh, Bucky Barnes' uh, body, so we'll go ahead and get this uh, piece together. It does go right into here. Uh, so let me go ahead and get this in here. Pegs right in, let me see. It's actually two pegs, didn't even notice that. Let's see here. Yeah, there we go. All right. Pegged right in, looking good so far. All right, we'll go ahead and put the head sculpt on. Again, show you guys again for the head sculpt. Obviously, like I say, we're gonna get closer pictures and everything, but the head sculpt is actually looking pretty cool, man. So I'm very impressed by it. Very, very impressed by it. Uh, let's see here. We got these two things. I'm not exactly sure where they go. Uh, the best thing about the XM Studios uh, is that they do come with assembly handbooks. Um, now, I'm not sure if this is something that they still do, but looks like this was something that used to uh, have been done uh, a lot. So, uh, number one, this goes, let's see. Oh, okay. Looks like this key's in here somewhere. I don't know if I can actually get this one, so I'll do this one off camera here. Or no, that's number one, that's right. So number one would go, let's see, see if I can get this real quick here. If not, I'll just have to do it off camera. Yeah, so that one, I'm actually just gonna do off camera because I'm not gonna be able to get those two. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. So we'll go ahead and put this together here. This is him with the uh, with the big gun. Look, the right arm. Oh man. Let's see. Left arm right here. <coughs> Excuse me. You actually could do it like this as well. They don't advertise it like that. They advertise it with only having two two actual looks. This arm with the knife, uh, this right arm like this with this knife. However, you could really put it however you want. So if you want it like that, you could do it like that. Or if you want to take this one out and then you want to put, uh, you know, the right arm in like this, you could do that as well. So it, it's really just whatever you want to do. I don't really think there's a a right or wrong way, it's, it's more so just, just preference. Uh, good, excellent magnets, by the way. So just preference, good, excellent magnets. Very good, as you guys can see there. Just just, just a lot of just a lot of preference. Um, looking, looking really, really good, Winter Soldier. So I'm gonna go ahead and get, uh, get the hands, uh, get, every, get the scoff and everything. Um, this one right here is, this is a good one right here. This is a good one. Let's go ahead and take this take this out, take the right arm out, and then I'll go ahead and get uh, the, the bionic arm, <laughs> the winter soldier arm with the knife. I actually like this look too, because it's like, uh, it's a look of basically like, hey, I got a gun, I got the knife. I really like this look right here. I think this is a cool, cool look. Blade isn't real metal or anything, but it's definitely definitely pretty good. Uh, I really, really like it so far. Looking good, looking good. So let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and put, take this arm out and then put it how they actually display it in the manual uh, with his hand like this when he has the knife. So let's see it. So this is also how they how they display it. Another cool look. So you really got three looks, to be honest. You know what I mean? You really got three looks. 
you could do like that. Or if you want, you could put the big gun, you know, with this. But this is a cool, this is more of a subtle look if you want to go with the more subtle look. This is cool too. I definitely like it. Um, definitely, definitely like it. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into the close-ups. Uh, and I'll go ahead and give you guys, uh, give you guys my thoughts. All right. Uh, now we are back and uh, I just want to say thank you guys very much. Um, I just want to say thank you guys very much for coming along uh, to this unboxing of the Marvel comic version of Winter Soldier. Shout out to XM Studios. Again, shout out to my guy Payne Collectibles. But I'll leave a link in the description below for his channel so you guys can check out his channel. This was an amazing deal on this coming from a friend. And I must say, you took very good care of the statue. There is no dust. It was very prestige, it wasn't dirty, very well good take taken care of. Um, so I would definitely recommend buying from Pain Collectibles if anybody is out there. He, he is selling more statues as well. So you guys can definitely pick up some uh, some good things from him. Uh, this is a this is amazing sculpt, amazing paint as I mentioned. Uh, everything one of this is very up to par, especially for this being a, a older one. You know what I mean? An older piece. This doesn't come out in 2022, 2021. So for this to be an older piece, it's it's still holding up. Um, I really like it and I'm very excited to be able to have this into the uh, collection, into the cash cave. I will be putting this next to Taskmaster. Um, and it looks good. It looks good. Uh, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. Once we do hit 1,000 subscribers, there will be a gift. Uh, there will be a giveaway. Um, we'll do something, uh, so I can't wait to share that, share that with you guys. Um, uh, probably put it in the description as I do every video, either a gift card from Spec Fiction or a one cent scale statue from Iron Studios by way of Spec Fiction. Um, just want to say thank you guys, man. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and all that. Cash out, baby. All right, and there we do have the close-ups of the Winter Soldier, uh, comic version from XM Studios. Uh, you guys are able to check out the uh, portrait. I think the portrait is pretty, pretty strong and accurate for, you know, what I would want from a portrait from XM Studios. Obviously, the hair is sculpted. Um, the arm looks great. Um, I do like the paint. They definitely took a different take on it. As you can see, like, it's kind of, you know, darker in some areas and some areas is lighter. So you can tell, like, the blacks and everything are definitely a little bit different. Um definitely definitely cool man but starting with the base and we'll just we'll just go straight to the base and then kind of you know work our way up if we're just looking at the base specifically um it looks really really good um you have the different uh colors and textures of the uh, ground almost like a muddy uh muddy rock effect i think that's very very cool um i do like in the base also how they have lots of uh lots of like machinery and stuff that he's standing on um i think that's very very cool um i i like everything on here the engineering with the peg of the left foot along with the peg of the uh, right foot above. Um, I think that was very, very smart uh, and cool. Now, if you take a look at the uh, at the boot here, uh, along with the pants, um, the pants color, I like how you're able to differentiate the, the darkness of the boot versus the darkness of the pants. So it's almost like it's still black. However, it's just a different shading of black to where it doesn't look, uh, you know, um, you know, kind of all in one, basically. Like you can tell, oh, okay, yeah, this is his pants, this is his boots, you know, things of that nature. Obviously right here, you have the uh, the laces of the boots. Um, this, this is really re very well sculpted and painted as well. Um, I really, really do like that. Um, moving on up, uh, however, to uh, the waist area. Um, I like in the waist area how we have um, the, the belt loop and the buckles of the belt. I think that's very, very cool as well. Um, I like the brown paints on there. Um, I like the edging and the uh, pants right here. As you guys can see, the black strip going down. I think that's very, very good as well. Um, leading up into the, uh, the, back of the, uh, the back of the suit, look at that. I mean, that, that looks amazing. It kind of makes me wonder, was there something supposed to be there? You think like Captain America shield perhaps, or like he took it from him or something. Look at the arms though. I really wanna get you guys thoughts and opinions on the arms. The arms are kind of like the pants, 
the pants boot thing I was mentioning, like you could tell the suit has different textures of dark on it. Crazy, crazy. Now, the one thing that I can honestly say, like the fingers here are very good, very well sculpted. The arm, very, very well sculpted on this one holding the knife, as well as this one holding the gun. Uh, however, what I don't care for, and I'm actually gonna show you guys here, um, it's on the, it's on the one with the, let's see, right here. Look at how those fingers are done. Let's see if I can get the focus. Like, they're like, pasted on. That, I don't care for. I really don't care for that. It's like pasting on. That's the only knock I actually have on my statue. Other than that, I think it's very, very solid. Going up to the portrait, the portrait is nice. I like everything about the statue. I think it's a solid. When you talk about paint, I'm giving it a five out of five. You talk about design, a five out of five. I think the execution, everything, the sculpt is very well done. I would have loved to see one more uh, portrait. I thought that would have been cool. Um, yeah, so I, I don't have any complaints, like I said, except for that hand part right there. That's the only complaint that I actually have. So with that being said, I'm actually gonna just go ahead and give it a 4.5 out of five. Very well executed, very well done. I can't wait to, you know, put this next to Taskmaster. I'll show you guys some revolving pictures at the end of the video. And hey, cash out, baby.